Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Histron from H3D Concepts and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, you can go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification and stay tuned for more lovely renders. Today I'll be showing you step by step how I created this lovely scheme house design done by Rice Design Studio in SketchUp Pro. So from our previous videos, um, we've showed you guys how to basically lay out the floor plan. Um, so we won't be going over that. What we're doing right now is that we're actually cutting out the doors and the windows um, for the building. So as you can see, we're taking the dimensions from the AutoCAD file and we are plugging it into the SketchUp model where the windows and the doors should be. There's two ways that you can actually pull up the floor plan. You can either create a PDF of the floor plan and insert it into SketchUp or you can do it just as how we're doing it now with the two files open and we just collect the data from one and then we input it in another. So there's two ways however we're doing it this way for this tutorial. Now that the windows and doors are complete, I will now go ahead and create the floor slab um, as you can see here. So we're just pulling up the floor slab and when once we've completed the floor slab, uh, we'll start to bring up the walls. However, we have to establish the ceiling height in order to know how high we pull up the walls. So we visit the AutoCAD file as you can see there, we have a 10 foot ceiling height. So we start to pull up the walls 10 feet, as you can see. While I'm pulling up the walls, I will also start to create the door openings and the window openings. So I will start to install the lintels or the beams over these openings.
and as you might know we have to double check our AutoCAD file um, for the measurements so for the window size and the door size we have to ensure that we double check our AutoCAD file to ensure that we have the accurate measurement. Once I've completed pulling up the walls, I will now proceed to create the first floor floor slab, um, which is six inch thick uh, based on the AutoCAD details. So we will just pull that up and create the thickness for the floor. The layout for the top floor, which is the first floor, is pretty much the same as the ground floor. So uh, we can just basically keep the same wall outline and continue to pull up those walls from the ground floor however if it was a different layout we would have to just create the floor slab um, based on the details and then do a new outline for the top floor and we normally would start the outline from the staircase As I mentioned earlier, um, the first floor layout is pretty much the same layout as the ground floor. So what I'm going to do is replicate the same windows and door layouts as the ground floor on the first floor. The ceiling height for the first floor was already established, so we just go ahead and pull these walls up. And the only difference between the first floor and the ground floor is that the first floor has an additional bathroom where the patio is on the ground floor. So we just double check the AutoCAD file to get that accurate measurement um, for the floor area for the bathroom. Thank you. 
Hey guys, please remember if you're new to the channel, I'm asking you please to subscribe just to show some support. And if you're loving the content that we've been sharing so far, please hit that bell notification and stay tuned because we'll be sharing more lovely tutorials on how to create your own 3D models and how to design your own 3D space. All the walls are now complete, so I'll just go ahead and create the existing structure, starting with the roof. And after which we will pull up the walls, and then we'll do the window and door openings after. Yo, Dre.
Here it is ladies and gentlemen, the final look of our 3D model and one last thing that I'll be doing is to basically scan through the AutoCAD file and to ensure that all the exterior materials and details are properly differentiated in the SketchUp model so as to allow us to easily process the materials once the model is loaded into the render program. And that is it guys thank you so much for watching and remember if you haven't subscribed as yet please subscribe hit that bell notification and stay tuned because we will be sharing the tutorial on the interior for this lovely design in our next video